It's almost Comic-Con time again, which means we are going to get a lot of new news about the Arrowverse, the CW DC shows, which now include Supergirl. So they have yes. a really solid lineup this year. It's The Flash, Arrow, Supergirl, and Legends of Tomorrow, all going into their new respective seasons. All have just started shooting, so we might actually get some new news. Uh, obviously, the show that, that we love so much, The Flash, had a mm. really big season two finale. Joshua, what are you really hoping that we find out about on this panel? What the heck is going on? post Flashpoint. That's what I really want to know because, uh, you know, he went back in time, he saved his mother, that changes everything for The Flash and could potentially change the other shows too, right? So it's it's all just a bunch of stuff up in the air. Um, they've also shown uh, the, what Kid Flash looks like in his costume, which is like comics accurate and is amazing. So that's another thing that it's like, how is he going to play into all of this? Also, Jesse got hit by that, that, that particle burst as well, so they were thinking she might turn to Jesse Quick or maybe get a new name because Jesse is in her superhero name and she maybe <laughs> hide who she is. Yeah, it will be really interesting to see the ripple effects of Flashpoint across all the characters. We got a little bit of that in season two, but really getting to see what this new version of Earth One looks like now that Barry went back and changed history in a way he shouldn't have, uh, I'm sure is gonna be a big, big subject of conversation yeah. at their panel. Um, moving on to Arrow, also ended in a pretty major way at the end of season four. Or Team Arrow as we know it no longer exists, which means that there's room for new characters to come in or things to change. Usually on these panels, we'll get a new look at, you know, the Green Arrow suits or the different characters' suits. Who would you really like to get a, a sneak peek of what we can expect next season? Um, I want to see all, like, they've mentioned a couple of heroes, uh, like Mad Dog and Vigilante and Artemis. I want to see what they look like, so I hope they bring their costumes to Comic-Con. Uh, they said, a, a recurring bad guy will be Chad Coleman, who played Tyrese on The Walking Dead. Yes, his villain's name is Tobias Church, and he's a gangster looking to unite the criminal underground of Star City. Yeah, so I'm interested to see sort of what his deal is and learn more about him. And I can't decide, we don't know if he's the overarching villain yet, right? Right. So that'll yeah, be that's sort of a, a mystery to see if it's him, or maybe there's someone else like bigger, like waiting in the wings. Yeah, I almost feel like the way that they phrased his villain announcement, which we actually broke here on IGN, which was really cool, brush our shoulders off, <laughs> um, made it seem like, you know, he is just a recurring character. Who is this person behind the scenes, maybe behind him, but also you don't cast a, a great actor like Chad Coleman without him having like a pretty significant role. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited to see yeah. what they do with them. And speaking of costumes, I want to see Mr. Terrific has yes. yet to suit up. But we've Echo seen Kellum's his, character. Yeah, so we've seen his T-spheres, and now I want to see him in action as Mr. Terrific. I think that would be really awesome. Switching gears again over to Legends of Tomorrow. Really, press the reset button at the end of season one. I'm really looking forward to seeing if we find out who the new Legends are going to be this season. It's going to be a bit of a different lineup. Yeah, there's Vixen. And it's a Commander Steel. Commander Steel, who, who doesn't sound like he's going to be Commander Steel when we pick uh, back okay, up. Yeah. But hopefully we find out a little bit more about those new characters and how they fit back in. But there's something else that's exciting yes, about obviously, season two. Obviously, huge cliffhanger at the end <laughs> that the JSA is going to be uh, a part of season What's two. What's the JSA? Explain the Justice Society of yes. America. It's essentially like the, the older version of the Justice League, which is going to have all these like classic characters uh, and hopefully a bunch of new ones uh, that we've never seen on TV before. Um, so that's, that's just like so exciting to me to see how they're gonna do that. And I have this vision of how it's all gonna unfold. Like they'll travel through time and like sort of unlock the JSA and we'll meet one in every care in every episode or something. Here I am writing season two. Yes, so tomorrow. We, this is but our- <laughs> I just wanna, I wanna find out more and more and more about the JSA. Yeah, and also the newest lineup to the, the Arrowverse, the CWDC shows, is Supergirl, which was was on CBS in season one, but just moved over to the CW. You are a big fan of Supergirl. What are you hoping we learn about, you know, this sort of new home for it? Uh, I just want to see Superman. <laughs> <laughs> like, they need to bring him out. They need to show the suit. They've uh, cast, that's true. They've cast Superman since season one to season two. It's Teen Wolf's Tyler Hoechlin, mm -hmm. who, who is going to be a new character on the show. It would be a, an amazing amazing reveal to yeah. get at the panel. And also just to discuss of how Supergirl fits in to the CW universe. Like is she going to remain on her own isolated earth apart from the from like the Arrowverse from the other shows or will she cross over at some point? Like I want to know what the plans are. And obviously they're moving
moving production from LA to uh, Vancouver. So I want to know, like, what does that mean for the cast? Is anyone going to like drop out because uh, they move production? They don't want to go to Canada. I don't know. Maybe Calista Flockhart. Yes, Maybe we'll find out what's happening with her. That's sort of the her, thinking, yeah. right? So I don't know, but so there's a lot that can change on Supergirl. But I'm really happy that she's closer to the CW family now and of the Arrowverse. And so I feel like there's uh, things she'll only go fly higher uh, from, <laughs> yeah, from now on. That's one of the coolest things about these Greg Berlanti shows is that they are a part of this interconnected universe. We already know that there is going to be a big crossover coming up in like November, December. So they could hype that as well. But something they've been doing that's a little bit unprecedented is promoting some of their season regulars on the respective shows to like cross series regulars. Oh yeah. So so we know that John Barrowman as Malcolm Merlin is has one of these deals which is basically he's a season regular across all four shows. Wentworth Miller has the same deal as Captain Cold. Do you think we're gonna find out any more details about what exactly that means for these new seasons? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> They're both gonna be here. Yeah. They're both gonna be at Comic-Con. Yeah we both let we have both those characters in interesting places and so I I just want to know like what happens to them that puts them in this role and lets them jump around to all the different shows. So that's awesome. And I love the interconnectivity and the fact that they're continuing that with these cool characters that we like is awesome. So we have a very long laundry list of things that we'd like to see from all these CW DC shows at Comic-Con. We're going to be doing a bunch of coverage of all of them. We're going to be talking to the cast. We're going to be going to the panels. So for all things Comic-Con, keep it here at IGN.